Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Wednesday the 6th of February comes to you from London. And we start by looking at uh, the dollar just continuing its uh, short-term rise again. So uh, despite everything we're hearing, the chart just tells us that the dollar is actually strengthening again and we're seeing the medium-term and long-term charts heading to bullish. So uh, even though you hear this, uh, the Fed and all of the news, that dollar is still looking pretty strong. And euro dollar is looking weak. So the euro against the dollar is looking weak. Japanese yen, we are seeing the dollar just ticking down. So it does mean that this run might hit uh, the buffers shortly um, on the short term chart. Uh, so that, that's always a good place to just see what's happening with the dollar is where it shows up in the yen. Uh, looking at sterling, uh, we're under pressure, this 130 level now coming under pressure <coughs> and we're lower again there uh, against the dollar, against the euro, sterling is bearish on the short term chart as well and against the Swiss franc also bearish and against the Aussie dollar just a little bit stronger Aussie dollar weakness there. Bitcoin uh, continuing to fall so um, all the, much the same picture there. US stocks uh, extended their gains last night. So the S&P future, S&P looking pretty good. The Nasdaq uh, now starting to look very bullish. Uh, this December high is the really key thing. We're just approaching that level now. Can we break that and hold that a good few days through that level? And that would start to signal that this recovery has got legs in it. The Dow looking stronger as well. Uh, still has work to do to get to the December high. That's the key at the moment. Uh, looking at the uh, Russell 2000, similar picture there as well. Uh, the futures this morning, the E-mini off slightly for the S&P and the uh, NASDAQ E-mini also just down slightly. Uh, so uh, hard to call which way the US market will open. FTSE is down about a quarter percent this morning, but still looking pretty good short term. The mid caps, a uh, little change this morning and again looking pretty good short term. Uh, again, the November high there for mid caps, that's what we're all looking for is a break of that uh, level. The DAX is down a third of a cent this morning, the CAC current down by a similar amount, uh, so we are just seeing some uh, pressure there. Uh, Tokyo little changed overnight, uh, Hang Seng uh, was uh, uh, looking a little bit better as well. Uh, Chinese market um, was still closed for Chinese New Year. Uh, the Sensex in India uh, looking stronger. Um, and stronger so this is one of the markets is still looking really good and lots of upside targets and the Aussie market continues its rise uh, up further again this morning. Brent crude's just struggling at the $62 level just starting to look a little bit more bearish and WTI also um, just off now looking bearish on that short term. US nat gas still in the doldrums at $2.68. Gold uh, sitting at $13, uh, $1,315 just starting to <clears throat> look at, at getting back into bullish territory. Key thing is here, can we break to a new high and activate that upside target? Silver, much the same picture. Uh, so we're interesting that we're seeing that. Um, and then US 10-year yields uh, diving back last night. So we are just seeing uh, th that weakness showing through in the bond yield. Taking a look at the individual stocks uh, last night, if we go straight to the NASDAQ, first of all, just rank by percentage terms. This data all coming from Yahoo Finance. Uh, JDCom up 4.6%. Uh, They're starting to look good on that medium term rise. Electronic Arts up 4.6% uh, 4, 4. and Tesla also looking better there as well. Uh, we see Apple was up 1.7% so we're seeing recoveries now just kicking in so it's interesting to see that and Amazon up a further 1.5%. Still in a downtrend, has work to do but we are just seeing tech starting to look better and Alphabet also up uh, over 1% and medium term starting to look more bullish. The uh, Aussie market uh, has been strong of late. Bellamy's up 5%. Their recovery is starting to look quite good now. Uh, so this is the point where we're starting to look for recovery stocks. Afterpay Touch uh, actually looking better there as well. Qantas uh, up 4% um, and starting to look a little bit better. Holding the long-term trend quite well. Uh, on the downside, we've got Media 
down 4.5%. Northern Star Resources holding their long-term trend, but just struggling on the medium term. So interesting to see that. China was closed. Uh, if we look at the uh, Nifty 50 in India, uh, Tech Mahindra up uh, 7%. So that's looking pretty good. Making new highs. That's a great looking chart. So they, these charts in India, that one not so good as the entertainment. Tata Steel has been in the, the laggards quite a lot lately. Hindustan Petroleum also not looking so great. On the downside, we see we only had a handful of stocks down. Adani Ports down 1.8%. Uh, so quite interesting there and we look at Tokyo uh, we had uh, um, a mixed picture there as well taking a look at the UK market uh, this morning the FTSE 100 uh, just ranking by percentage CRH up 3.6% percent there we see the live prices coming in from yahoo uh barrett developments up 2.3 percent and looking much better on that medium term chart vodafone uh, also recovering but having had a terrible uh, couple of years and then looking at the other side uh the laggards tui ocado continues their fall uh, so we are just seeing uh moves there as well and the 250 uh, it's the performances CYBG group up again this morning looking pretty strong there but uh, having had a terrible uh, few months so that's quite interesting and then um, looking at European markets we see uh, CYBG holding that uh, lead there Mezzo Corporation uh, in Helsinki looking stronger uh, this morning and uh, so quite key that so markets just generally recovering that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then